uh, it's pretty inspiring that the mainstream media and in particular uh, the sports media has finally begun to talk about the concussions and brain injury in the NFL. And I want everyone to call in with their thoughts on this at 866-55-PRESS, because even if you're not a football fan, this issue really impacts all of us. And, and you know, someone in your life loves football. And football's a big part of our economy, uh, and it's really hard to get any kind of institutional change in football. So let me start by asking you in broad strokes, how big, sir, is this problem? It's a significant problem. There are about 1.7 million traumatic brain injuries per year, according to the uh, government statistics. And uh, we, we find that uh, throughout sports or uh, car accidents or what have you, that uh, people are having brain injuries, concussions. Concussion is a brain injury. Uh, that results from a blow or a jolt to the head, and there's a change in mental status. You know, mm-hmm. you're dazed, confused, disoriented, and it has significant long-term impacts. And it's it's about time, uh, as you've said, that uh, somebody is focusing on it and looking at just what the, what the causes are, what are the signs and symptoms, what do you do if you're suspected of having a concussion, and uh, how do you protect yourself against the long-term effects? Yeah, Bob Costas made headlines uh, last week. Uh, he was appearing on um, Hang Up and Listen, Slate's sports podcast. And uh, he talked about, uh, he advised against kids playing football, setting the sports extreme dangers. And uh, he said he wouldn't let his son play football, which well, was a real surprise. But that may be a bit extreme. I, I, don't, I don't think you have to go there. There have been many, many people who have been playing the sport, not only football, but hockey and lacrosse and soccer and what have you. And, and they're rigorous sports. It, it, not all of the people that participate suffer concussions. Mm-hmm. I think what's important is to understand what is a concussion, how can you get one, what are the signs and symptoms, what do you do if you, uh, if you have one. Uh, and um, uh, and, how do you know takes, if, and how do you know if you have one? Well, if it, it, you, don't, you may not know precisely that you do. But if you suspect you have a concussion, well, you don't continue to practice, you don't continue to play, no, no f- uh, physical uh, exertion or mental exertion, if you would, until the signs and symptoms clear up. Mm-hmm. Uh, how you know you have one is uh, they're made through a, a, a diagnosis by a doctor or uh, some other healthcare professional. Could be a, in D.C. an athletic trainer who has a sufficient uh, background and experience on diagnosing concussions. Uh, and if you have uh, suspected, you know, you come out of a game, you got a shot, it's a shot to the head. Mm-hmm. You're feeling a little, I just don't feel right, a little off. Right. You, you probably got a concussion. Uh, or, um, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm, uh, my, my vision's a little blurry. Uh, or I, I'm just, uh, the lights are a little hazy. Mm-hmm. Um, you might want to tell somebody about it. And, and you just sit out the rest of the game. Now, I grew up uh, as an American kid, which means I was raised by uh, television. And one thing I learned on TV <laughs> at a very young age is that uh, if you hit someone in the head with the butt of a gun or a rock or a, a stick or a bat or a large uh, object, uh, they will effortlessly uh, be knocked unconscious and pass out and then wake up an hour later and feel fine after you've made your escape. Uh, so Right after the commercial. Uh, yeah, exactly. Now, uh, seriously, this is what we've all grown up with. It's really easy to... N- if you're a hero and don't want to kill someone, just knock them out and then go on. Uh, we've grown up with this uh, pervasive uh, false impression of what head injuries are. I mean, I mean, it seems like it's something that people don't take seriously. When you look at the tragic death of, uh, of uh, actress Natasha, oh, no, I, I forgot her last, Liam Neeson's wife. Um, oh, I saw her on Broadway in Closer. Forgive me for, for for losing her name. It's very early. But she was in a skiing On accident. the ski slopes. Hit she, a tree. She, right. She got up. She thought she was doing well. Mm-hmm. Richardson, and she got up to doing well, and uh, she had a brain bleed, and uh, and died. So you, she didn't know. She did. And, and how common are injuries like this? Very common. You have uh, there was a um, there's legislation uh, throughout the United States. Most states have enacted legislation. I, I drafted the legislation in D.C. that I'm about to tell you about. Um, it's called the Athletic Concussion Protection Act. Uh, it, it came about because a, a young football player was playing high school uh, ball. He got uh, got hit, a bit, bit dazed, confused. Coach took him out, uh, let him sit out for a little bit. So, you know, coach says, "How you doing? Doing fine." Puts him back in the game. Game ends. Everybody's off the field except him. He's he's on the ground. He's not getting up. 
He's uh, significantly had uh, functional limitations now. He's confined to a wheelchair. He had uh, a brain bleed and uh, destroyed his life. And, and this is the thing. It goes beyond the NFL. Oh, I yes. Mean, I mean, so many, but in terms of talking about these players uh, who, who have these traumatic head injuries, how difficult is it for these fellows to find employment and work after their football careers end? It depends on the nature and the extent of the injury. Uh, we represent, uh, I'm a, a trial lawyer, I represent uh, people who are injured uh, through no fault of their own. And uh, I have a high percentage of my practice is dealing with the traumatic brain injuries. And mm -hmm. I have a, a client of mine who was a professional soccer player here locally uh, for DC United and uh, suffered a, a brain injury, a concussion in a game. Uh, three days later, he's put back in, uh, not given any advice to sit out. And uh, now he's uh, functionally disabled, uh, uh, can't play professional soccer, can't play any soccer, mm -hmm. and is totally unemployable. Um, totally unemployable. Totally unemployable. He's, he's got, uh, uh, he, could, he could focus on something for a bit, maybe an hour, and then he just deteriorates such that he, he can't keep track. He's got sufficient, uh, uh, significant headaches. Uh, and uh, I don't think he's, that's the kind of guy you want working for you. Right. He's not, just not going to be uh, functional. Which hurts our economy, which puts an in increased pressure on health care costs. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's not a productive member of society. Uh, there are costs attendant to uh, caring for him. Uh, it has a, an impact on his family. Uh, and, and so there are, there are societal costs associated with it. Now, with professional athletes or athletes in general, you know, you start from a, a, they're, they're competitors. Mm -hmm. They want to be in the game. And so the, the coaching staff and those that are in charge and supervising these activities should know that. And they should recognize that, okay, if it looks like somebody took a hit to the head or a blow to the head, well, wait a minute, let's pull this guy off. Let's do some testing, baseline, you know, take a quick sideline view of what's going on. And if there's a, suspe a suspicion of a concussion, pull the guy out, even if the guy's telling you, hey, wait a minute, you know, I'm okay. I, I want to go back the, in. Do you see that happening? Yes. I mean, I mean, it seems like the NFL is beginning to wake up to this issue a bit more. Well, well they're not waking up to it. They're just acknowledging, acknowledging the that bad there's PR. a connection. They woke up to it many, many, many years ago. They knew about it. They said there was no con connection between... Uh, the signs and symptoms that we know are related to concussion and a blow or a jolt to the head. Uh, <laughs> there was a lawsuit that, that uh, uh, was brought by former uh, and current players in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Before they could get the documentation to show that the NFL knew and covered it up for years, the NFL says, you know what, I think we need to settle this case. Mm -hmm.